it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous week. So in front of me, we have four kits. These are from the amazing people over at Diamond Art Gift. Thank you so much for sending these out to me. Um, I've been working with Diamond Art Gift for a while now, and they are just amazing. I, I absolutely love working with them. They have a great selection, and they offer... Um, many different styles and subjects, what have you, for everybody's taste. So let's us get into it because I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy these ones. So I'm going to start out with this one right here because it's in the plastic dust bag and is so freaking funny. Um, I am going to try and do my best to have a finish at the end of this video. Um, so if it's at the end and you see the my little thank you ending thing, then you know I didn't do one. But my goal is to try and have at least one finish for you guys. All right, so these will all be linked below. I'm gonna have to say, save this part so I can link it. This one is rather large, but I thought it was so funny. Um, here we have our standard toolkit right here. Uh, it's a boat, a plate of wax. This is good wax. It's, wax. it's the kind that's not see-through. A standard diamond painting pen, and then you get a couple baggies right here. Here are our drills. This is a round. Um, they are pre-bagged, so yay for that. Now I'm going to roll this backwards. Um, it's a little bit longer. I think it's a 30 by 60. No, it's a 30 by 50, excuse me. Um, and I hope it turns out. I know the writing will, but when I saw it, I was just like so excited. Super, 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 super excited. All right. Are you guys ready? Oh, good. Okay. One, there. I was going to try and count, but then I changed not to. Decided not to. Sorry. So we have these really cute cows. They've got cheetah print headbands, sunglasses, and bows and stuff. And it says, hey, girl, hey. And I had to get it. I was dying. I was absolutely dying um i know my daughter gina will love this she's like obsessed with cows but i don't know if i'm gonna send it to her i might keep it for myself because it's just so stinking cute um i knew there was gonna be some confetti though with this shiplap uh the wood board on the side but all of this background is all color blocking and of course there's some confetti in the cheetah print and on the cows but i really think it'll be worth it and it won't be that bad it is around but, um, all right, so I'm like all over the place because I'm so excited. So here's the little thumbnail. It is really tiny. B6305, that is the kit, the item number. And then here is our legend with 21 colors over here. And then at the bottom, we have another legend right here. So let's take a look at the symbol clarity. It's really, really clear. And this is picture printed because there's no guide circles, so that's always a good thing. I hope the cows come out, their faces. I think that they will, because they look kind of creepy right now, but that's because this is a round. But it looks really, really good through the camera. All right, so we do get um, an inventory, and I'll go ahead and open that up. So I can find how to get into this bag. How's everybody doing? How's the weather where you guys are at? Because uh, we had a nice cool spell last weekend, but now it's back hot up here in the valley. Anyway, so you do get a tiny little thumbnail. You could probably blow that up on your printer. And then here is your very large inventory, which I love. It shows all 21 colors. It shows the DMC, um, the how many diamonds you get, and the weight of each of them. I'm pretty sure it's in grams. And... All right, so there are some adjustments. So this bag only says 20, but they made a one. So this is 21, so this is 5,200. And then the same thing with, I think by accident they just grabbed the wrong bag. So this is showing that it's 20 in color 3799. But all the rest of them seem to be, well, almost all of them. It seems like somebody was rushing, but 
They seem to be corrected now. Yeah, 318. That's that's right. So there's lots of grays and whites in here. Um, we're going to go through the colors. There's that mint green that I love. I just happened to notice that. I wanted to show it to you guys. At least it's in order. So that was really cool. I love the pre-bag drills because I can just up and go. I do not save my um, drills. Uh, my pre-bag drills or any of my drills really from my budget companies. But here are the colors. We've got that mint, purple, some browns and tans, um, kind of that grayish green. So I really like this. It's a very subtle color palette, but I'm really excited to see. What do you guys think about this one? All right, hold on a second. I need to get something to drink. Hold on. All right, I just had to get my, uh, my water bottle right quick. Let's move on to the next one. Not quite sure what all these are, but let's check it out. All right. Feels pretty. So I love the bubble mailers they come in. I don't know why I just did that. I need that. Good Lord. All right. So this is on a thicker canvas right here. I think this is a Halloween one because, yes, it is, because you guys even know, um, oh, here's our standard kit again. Even though it's July, um, I'm always ready for Halloween, and I got a plan. I got a plan on I got a plan. Here are our drills right here. We'll take a look at them in a second. Um, meaning by that is, although I always like to participate in drills and chills, I'm trying to be less ambitious and maybe not do something so big because right now I am super, super busy with Bella's swim. And it's, you, you guys know, you've been around long enough to know that I'm busy. All right, but I saw this one and I just had to get it. It's got that retro look to it. And Halloween right here, it says Frightful Fan Folly right here. It's got that old paper, old cracked stone look. It's got our owl. It's a 30 by 45 round. Yep, round. Let me, uh, the canvas is really thick, so it'll definitely have to rest. What do you guys think? And I know, I know, there's a lot of confetti. I know. I'm just, I'm just going to try not to complain about it anymore because it's just all the images that I really like have a lot. So I just need to suck it up and deal with it. Anyway, we have our legend right here, 23 colors. And then we have another legend up at the top. So this is a very fall-like um, color palette. I absolutely love it. The symbols are so clear. And I love that there is a border around the border. I, I love that. Um, that will be like my sanctity because that's mostly color blocking. Um, the rest of this, um, very little color blocking. I might be lucky to use like a two place or, or maybe a four, um, but there's gonna be a lot of single placing. A lot of confetti in this owl. I don't care though. I absolutely love it. Bring on Halloween. So here are our drills. I'm not gonna open them up because they're not special. But you guys can see, uh, no DMC, but it does have the kit number. Always make sure, because every once in a while, it could not match. And the, like, I love this, like, sagey green. These are very soft colors, like, not really pastel, um, but just a warm, a warm color palette. Um, blacks, some brown, taupes, orange, a little bit of white, yellow, um... This is kind of like my favorite. I mean, I do like the bright colors, but I kind of really like this. This will really get me into that fall mood, which is really hard to do when it's like triple digits outside. But, so there is that one. We'll do this one and then we'll do this other longer one next because I'm hoping it is what I think it is. Oh, goodness. Some of these are, the glue is really tight on here. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Here it is again. Drills again. 
another Halloween one, you guys. And wait till you see these. I was like dying. I made sure like I got all of them, not from the same company, but all these. And I really hope that they come out with some more retro Halloween because I am here for it. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah. So right here, 30 by 45, Salem, Massachusetts, have broom will travel how could you not get that like who would not want this first of all like you guys all know i'm originally from new york um i'm super close like i'm an hour from the massachusetts border um a couple hours from boston i'm not quite sure how far i am from salem but when you get up into new england um those states are not very big so i mean I, you can go from new york new york to maine in four hours. So if that tells you anything. Um, but I always like, I've never been to Salem and I would love to go, especially during Halloween that like fall, that is my, like on my bucket list um, to do. But oh my goodness. How cool is this? There's a ton of confetti in here. I know, I know, I know, I know how cool though another border around it but i mean have broom will travel like hello uh, we have a um legend right here 24 colors and we have another one up here as well as our thumbnail let me look at this this hopefully the oops hopefully the massachusetts will come out well but we know salem's gonna look good have broom will travel it looks good. The only issue that I don't like is some, I don't know why they just won't um, make the letters all one color. So I actually might do that. I might, depending on what, it, I probably will make them all black. I'm not quite sure, just depends. Um, yeah. So let's take a look again. Um, it's just got the kit number, but this has got orange and gray and green and pink and burgundy and black and a dusty rose. And light blue, gray, red. What do you guys think? How cool is this one? The witch is on her broom. She's got some flowers. She's got her cape on. I love the full moon. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. Here is the last one. Last but not least. It looks kind of smushed, but that's okay. Um... These one, this particular bag, look, there's two different bags. So, bags. so the quilted ones um, open easily, but the ones that are not are a little more difficult. So when you cut them open, make sure that you're very, very careful as you don't cut your canvas. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, yes, I absolutely love this one. Oh my God, yes. Again, it is around. This this canvas is a little more pliable. When I saw this one, I was like, this has my name written all over it. All, all over it. I just had to have it. I had to get it. I had to get it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. It's got a sunflower. Now, you guys know that I'm not super into butterflies. I mean, they're pretty. I'm just not into them because there's a bug. <laughs> but it's got a sunflower. And I got it because it says, she's sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. I try to be a ray of sunshine in everybody's day. But, you know, people be trying me, so it's hard. It's hard. It is so hard in these streets. If people just they wouldn't try to come for me all the time, then I could be much more pleasant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just talking crap. Anyway, I love this one. It's got 22 colors. It's a 40 by 40. It is color blocking. Excuse my shitty singing, but... 
after all those three that I just showed you with all that confetti, the only confetti, this background is all one color. Um, there's a little bit of color variations throughout the, the writing, but I think the writing's gonna turn out nicely. We've got our sunflower. It's got a kind of little ombre effect to it. Um, legend up at the top and legend down at the bottom. And yeah, I really, 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 really like them. So hopefully, I'm hoping I can get one, I can get one of these done for you. So I guess you're going to have to stay tuned. But before I go, let's recap. So we've just seen this one. Oh, wait, I didn't even show you the drills. How rude. All right. So again, no DMC, but there's like these olive greens and oranges and yellows and browns and blacks. It's just like super, super basic, super cool. Um, it doesn't look like there's 22 colors in here, but I know it's gonna look fabulous. And I'm so happy that the background is color blocking. So 40 by 40, she's, a, she's sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. Then we have our amazing 30 by 45 Salem, Massachusetts, have broom will travel, 24 colors round. Keeping on with, keeping on with feeling like Halloween and fall. We have our frightful fan fo folly with our owl, with that really um, gothy looking background with a super subtle color palette. And last but not least, we have our cows, our nosy Holstein saying, hey girl, hey. And it is a 30 by 50 with 21 colors and it is a round. So that's all I have for you guys. Um, yeah, stick around and if I don't see you in the next clip, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey everyone, I'm back and yes, I have a finish for you. Um, it may only feel like a couple seconds or no time at all, but it's actually almost like a week later, but let me show you. So here is my finish that I had. Um, this one, I figured I would be able to get done the quickest for you. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, normally I do not like the writing. Uh, when there's writing with multiple colors around it like I just like it a total like solid color but I felt as though this um oh, this um went with the whole theme of how it is sorry I saw some drills that were kind of popping up probably because I was rushing but see how at the border of the sunflower there are highlighted little colors I just thought um it went well and even with the extra colors even though it was a pain in the rear um I think that it came out very nice and I really love it so as you can tell the entire background is all black and color blocking and the shine I was really, really surprised. Look look at the shine, you guys. I mean, on this whole thing. Um, for the most part, it was all color blocking, but there was confetti with the lettering. Um, there was confetti in the butterfly. Now, this is probably gonna be very unpopular of me to say this, but I am not a huge fan of like butterflies. Um, but, I loved the sunflower and what it said because this is me. I am some sunshine, but I am definitely mixed with probably a lot of hurricane, um, some would say. I just bordered this with some basic yellow washi that I had. Um, I just have this, I got this at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. It's just basic uh, standard colors for when I need something really, really quick. Um, so yeah. Um, all these are going to be linked below. Again, this is from Diamond Art Gift. This was a 40 by 40 with 22 colors. Um, and yeah, there was definitely 22 colors. So let us talk about the drills real quick. Um, I had plenty left over. I did use my chunky Tic Tac containers, and I really, really like them. Um, the tops pop off easily, so I just used a little white boat with a funnel 
and put my colors in. Um, they were nice and I just numbered them one, two, three, four, all the way to 22. That way I can continue to use this and I won't have to worry about um, Uh, I won't have to worry about peeling off the labels, except for maybe here because I did have four containers of black. Um, this is how much black I had left, so I had plenty of it. So let's talk about that, though. So all the drills were really awesome. They were really great uh, quality for the most part, um, a great shine, except for the black. The black drills were absolutely horrible. Um they weren't horrible. I shouldn't go that far. They weren't that great. So excuse the little chunks of wax, but this was my trash. And as you can see, there's these tiny right here, like these tiny little black uh, resin drills or trash particles. And they would just get in the way of my multi-placing. Um, here's from the other side. As you can see, there's wax. Um, that is just a stray drill I threw in there. Oops. And I'm like dumping it all over the place. Um, yeah, and this is what I had uh, in the tray. So um, I picked most of it out. There's some wax in there. But other than that, you know, it was okay. Out of all of them, this yellow was the best. The best out of all of them. I really liked the quality of the yellow drills. I thought they came out really, really nice. And they were nice and shiny. So yeah, here is my finish. What do you guys think of it? Um, I want to send out another big thanks to Diamond Art Gift. Thank you so much for sending these out. I really enjoyed this. I hope um, everyone enjoyed watching this. And let me know. Other than that, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And I will see you in the next clip. Bye. Or the next video. Bye. Bye.